Okie dokie. So if you're in class with me, we're actually going to do our setup a little bit differently than you might have had it in a different class. If this is your first class, you can go ahead and skip this video, although stick around for a couple minutes just so I can show you some cool shortcuts maybe associated with working on the computer. So the first thing that I notice is I am very cluttered right now. There is too many things on my screen and my head hurts. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some of these windows. Now I can be really quick with the mouse. Uh, right now I have a little mouse in my hand, but you might be just using the little trackpad and that's not fun. It's not very quick. So just so you know, maybe finding that spot, clicking it, deleting it doesn't always work super fast. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna click on this window. If I wanna get rid of it, I'm gonna hit Control and W and it goes away. I wanna get rid of this, Control and W, and I'm gonna get rid of this, Control W, Control W, bam, Control W, Control W, Control W, Control W. It's a lot nicer than uh, that one I had to click. Sometimes Control W doesn't work. The, you can overwrite that on some software. So some of the software overwrites that. I'm gonna do Control W there and holy crap, I really had a lot of windows open. No worries though, because with shortcuts, I can Control W the hell out of everything. And you know what? Now I have one Google window, that's okay. I like that. I can think a lot better now, um, sweet. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I am going to go into my uh, I'm going to open up this window by pressing the start button, bam. And now I'm going to go ahead and type in, I don't, you don't see a search bar or anything pop up, but as soon as you start typing, it automatically starts searching. So I'm going to go ahead and type in git bash. And when I see this, some of y'all have this installed. We're actually going to get rid of this now. So we're not gonna do it this way anymore. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to install a WSL terminal. If you have Git Bash installed, this will only apply to you. If you don't have Git Bash installed, don't even worry about it. What you're gonna do is you are going to right click this. So what right click means is you're going to click with the, there's like two spots you could press on your mouse or on your, laptop and if you press on the right side it pulls open this little menu so i'm going to go ahead and right click it click on uninstall and I, it's going to open up this window here so now we have to look for this git thing right here and i see it right here so we want to get rid of that by right clicking it and pressing uninstall it's going to ask if i want to make these changes i'm going to say yes and now I just say, are you ready to, do you want to completely remove it? Yep, super easy to reinstall if we need it for some reason in the future. So I'm not too stressed right now about uninstalling this. Bam, it's gone. That's the end of this lesson.